What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today I got a special big Marvel haul for you. We got some Marvel Pops that came in and some of them I am quite concerned with and I'll tell you why in a minute. You know that thing that I was talking about, I don't know, a month or two ago about why I hate pre-orders from Target? How you pre-order from Target and you have to respond to all these emails saying that you approve it and then it finally just gets canceled for no reason and you have to reorder it. Well, apparently that didn't happen with two of my par Target pre-orders somehow. And they showed up. And they're here in these boxes. So we got one box and we have two boxes. Now I'm quite concerned about these pops right here and I'll tell you why. That's why one of them and the two other one is very packed. So I'm concerned about the very packed box and the not very packed box for two very different, well, for the same reason, that they could both be crunched. <laughs> I know that's weird, right? There's this sweet spot between packing pops. So, um, then I have one other big thing to show you. Um, let's see if these pops are okay. Um, there should be one in here. And I have no idea if it's in padding, because like I said, it's, doesn't seem like anything's let's let's look together oh oh Clint this is yeah so this is the case there's a bubble thing and that um, is Clint okay though let's see you know what surprisingly Clint seems to be just fine Wow target okay so let's go ahead and open the other one and then we'll take a look at um, this Clint pop here now this one could be packed and like the, the irony of the situation is that this one will be the one that is busted. So we have plenty of bubbles in here. Look at that, Kate Bishop. And it looks like she's okay too. Wow, two very different packing styles and two mint condition pops. I am floored. Anyway, here's Clint from Hawkeye and I love this show. It was super awesome. This is a Target exclusive. Clint, there is a Hawkeye version of him, but he is just in um, his ugly Christmas sweater here, uh, as is Kate Bishop, which I guess is kind of dated now that I think about it. But um, you can see the rest of the line there on the back side of the box, which is cool. Let's open Clint up and take a look at him real quick. See what he is about. All right, we're good. I was like, how funny would that be if it came with no padding, arrived in mint condition, and then it fell off my table and was completely smashed. All right, here is Clint with a super long neck. Like, look at how awkwardly long his human neck looks. Um, he has the little cat on the Christmas sweater. He's just in basic clothes. But you can see he's got some wounds up here um, from some of the fights that they were in. And uh, he's got his little hearing aid on the side. Pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty standard looking pop, but Target exclusive. It's a Christmas pop, I guess, because it, that's when the movie took place. I, I mean, it just feels dated, I guess, to have this right now. I don't even remember when this went for pre-order, but um, we have it now. And so, yeah. Merry Christmas in April, I guess. Um, anyway, that being said, that's Clint. And Clint is super cool. I think Hawkeye, Hawkeye in the MCU is, is very underrated. Um, then we have Kate Bishop. Uh, we have her in the front here. And we have uh, the different ones on the back. We have Kate, Kate Bishop with Lucky the Pizza Dog, uh, Maya Lopez, Elena, and then we have Hawkeye here as well. And let's get Kate out of the box and see what she looks like. She does have a stand in here, in case you're curious. Most of the women pops have stands. Look at her. She's got some scrapes and cuts as well. And she has another little ugly Christmas sweater with like a dog on it. And she's got some like rips in her pants here. She's looking cool. I dig it. I dig these pops. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I dig the pops because I've seen the show and I literally, if there's a good show on TV that I haven't seen, um, like the Umbrella Academy, for example, 
I'm just, I won't, I won't watch that show because I don't want to have to buy the pops for it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You just avoid things now because you don't want to have to buy all the, the collectible things for it. Anyway, next up, we have the Marvel Studios Disney Plus Collector Core Box. Yes, and I've managed to stay away from spoilers for this, so um, you probably haven't, but for me, this is all going to be new. Okay, so let's pull out, what is this first thing on top here? Oh, hey, look at that. Speaking of Hawkeye, we have the Trusta Bro Moving Company. Um, so that was a, a moving truck uh, company that was ran by some shady people. Uh, it was kind of a cover up basically, but uh, that's a pin for their little moving company. That's cool. I wonder if we have other Hawkeye stuff in here. Let's see what else we have. We have a shirt. We have a shirt. Okay, hold on. I I know what this says now, and this is great. <laughs> I love this shirt so much. I'm not single. I'm saving myself for Thor. Wow. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna rock this. That's for sure. I absolutely love this shirt. Uh, I wish it was black though. It would have been way cooler black. But it still is a pretty cool shirt, nonetheless. I dig it. Um, let's see what else is in the box here. Uh, we have a sticker. Hey, look at that. It's a WandaVision sticker. That's cool. I dig that. I'm going to put on my sticker wall in there. Next up, we have pops. Let's take out one of the pops here. Kind of like, I don't know why I'm trying to keep this a secret from everybody or from myself or whatever, but hey, look at that. We have Baron Zemo from, uh, well, I mean, from the Marvel Universe, but this specific version from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And you can see all the rest of the line there on the back. And, ooh, look at him. Let's take him out of here. He's doing a little boogie. Um, okay, pull him out. I love Marvel Pops. Marvel Pops are my favorite. Look at that! Look at just swag town right here. He's just getting down. Look at that. Pretty plain pop, to be honest. I mean, it, let's be real. It's probably, it would probably be one of the least favorite commons out of the series if it were a common and not in this collector core box. But I think it's pretty cool. Nonetheless, I dig it. And we have one more Marvel pop in this huge Marvel haul that we're doing, and I guess I can look in the box now. Oh! Yes! Wow, look at that. Scarlet Witch. That's cool. So we have a WandaVision pop and a Falcon and the Winter Soldier pop. Scarlet Witch. Um, so this is um, a variation of an already done mold where she's like reading through the little spell book here. Um, and so this one, well, let me show you. It's, uh, it's got a stand. Well, only because she's floating, but it's like a, a red color. It's like sparkly, like glittery red. And so I guess it's just kind of trying to simulate that she's like using powers or something. I mean, I don't know. I can't even remember if she was actually like red like this in the show or not, but I still think it's pretty rad. Like I dig it. Look at that. I'm not a huge fan of these all one color pops, but for Scarlet Witch, it works. At least in my opinion, it does. Uh, it definitely, definitely works for her. Um, so, that being said, I mean, this is a pretty epic haul. I gotta say, my favorite thing is probably that t-shirt. <laughs> because, yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's fantastic. But we have pops from Hawkeye, the show, we have pops from Scarlet Witch and um, this, uh, why can't I think? The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> and I was gonna say Captain America and the Falcon. That would not make sense. Um, but yeah, I think they're pretty cool. I don't know. I'd love to know what you think about this fun Marvel haul down in the comments section below. It's been a minute since I've gotten this many Marvel Pops at once, so I wanna know what your recent pickups were. Let me know all that down in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, blah. 
And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the near future because you're so cool and I love you so much. Anyway, that being said, once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.